Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today we have a huge update on the Jack Eichel situation and a huge update that could result in a trade very, very soon. Now Jack Eichel has officially fired his agent, but there's a lot of confusion about what this actually means and what it could actually mean for Jack Eichel going forward. And that's what we're going to explain in today's video in full detail. Make sure you watch till the end for all the details and all the trade rumors and hit that subscribe button if you are new. 60% of the people watching are not subscribed. If you like cocky and you, if you like trade rumors, this channel is the place to be. Now, Elliot Freeman started this situation with an absolute bomb of a tweet where he said this. A development in the Jack Eichel situation, hearing he's now going to be represented by Pat Brisson. And a lot of people that don't know Pat Brisson will just look at this and think it means nothing. But there is a lot that is going on with this Jack Eichel situation that with Pat Brisson now being his agent, I think this means a lot towards potential trade and a lot of difference in terms of how the situations have been handled. Now, if you don't know Pat Brisson, he is one of the biggest agents agents in hockey. He has, I think, his clients all together make, I think, $176 million. So he's uh, doing pretty well for himself. But his biggest agents are John Tavares, Patrick Kane, Taves, Kopitar, Crosby, Giroux, Duchesne, Fowler, McKinnon. This guy has a ton of players, the overseas, and a, a ton of players that he's negotiated with in the past. But Pat Brisson is super interesting. And this is where people don't really know how big of a deal this is, because people know that Pat Brisson is a hockey agent, but they don't know really how much of a hockey agent he is or his style of hockey agency because he does a lot of stuff in the background that other agents don't quite do. Now, Eichel was represented by Peter Fish before and Jack Eichel was his biggest client by far, but Peter Fish, at least from what we can tell the Jack Eichel situation, hasn't been like the most outspoken person by any means. Pat Brisson is completely different though. He is outspoken, he is hard-nosed, he gets what he wants, and he gets stuff done. The connections this guy has are unfathomable, are unfathomable, but, quite, but I can't even say words. They're crazy. Across the entire hockey world, he knows so many different people. People have been pointing out he's a best friend with Mark Bergman, which is true, but there's a ton of people he knows in the hockey world, and he's able to get stuff done. In the Roberto Luongo uh, situation where he was traded from Vancouver, he was able to make that trade happen. Pat Passan was able to get Luongo to Florida to make that trade happen pretty much by himself, and there was a whole story about it when that trade happened. Pat Passan gets stuff done simply put and for Jack Eichel, who wants to have surgery, who wants to go away from the Buffalo Sabres, I can't think of an agent that honestly fits better for Jack Eichel than Pat Brisson, at least right now. Now, I am telling you guys, this is really big news because, again, when it comes to Peter Fish, it didn't seem like there was much initiative, at least combined with the Buffalo Sabres, but I think when it comes to Pat Brisson, if once he goes into that situation and once he's able to negotiate with Kevin Adams, I think there will be some stuff that does get done, or at least more news and rumors than what we've heard already. At this point, we're just, like, grasping at straws to get anything Jack Eichel related, but with Pat Brisson there, at the very least, we'll get some things leaked out to different insiders because that usually tends to happen with bigger hockey agents and we'll also get a lot more actually happening I think in the Jack Eichel situation especially with training camp being here in a month and Jack Eichel likely not being ready for the start of the season Pat Persson is going to bring a little bit of a fresh air in this Jack Eichel situation and I think there'll be a ton of uh, a ton of trade rumors and a ton of news to come out of this situation now that Pat Persson is in there just for the pure fact that it's a different agent and we now have a different breath of fresh air into that negotiation and into that conversation I I think that's going to change a lot and again for Jack Eichel's situation where he needs something to work he needs something to happen and he wants to get that surgery Pat Brisson is just perfect at stuff like this getting his clients what they want and getting him where they want to be in Buffalo Jack Eichel does not want to be there it's not going to work out and uh, he wants to trade and I feel like with Pat Brisson he's going to be able to make that happen if any agent is going to make a trade and make that surgery happen for Jack Eichel it is Pat Brisson so just in the service level I think Jack Eichel doing this is fantastic but it does also give us a little bit of an indication on how desperate Jack Eichel is right now I mean changing agents is isn't like an extremely rare thing, but it is pretty uncommon. But in Jack Eichel's situation, it's obvious that nothing seems to be working. Nothing seems to be changing. The Sabres are holding at their positions, not wanting Eichel to get that surgery, and they ultimately have the power to do so. But again, with Pat Brisson, there might be just something different in the aura of those conversations. And again, just having a bigger hockey agent, like a big name like Pat Brisson, brings something to that conversation that wasn't previously there in the other negotiations. Now, when looking at what players 
Pat Brisson is actually in charge of throughout the league, it's pretty interesting. In terms of the seven teams that, or actually the eight teams that Pat Brisson has the most players on, he has Chicago, he has six different players in the Blackhawks, he has Seth Jones, Taves, Kane alone, so he has a lot of that team. They He also has four players in the Ducks, three players in the Kings, three players in the Flyers, three players in the Devils, three players on the Avalanche, three players on the Canadians, and two players on the Toronto Maple Leafs. But in terms of influence, I mean, having Kane and Taves and Seth Jones in the Blackhawks, Cox is a lot for one team and I think there's going to be some speculation because of that but when it comes to Pat Brisson he has a client on pretty much every single NHL team I believe or at least close to it he even has two clients on the Seattle Kraken so this guy has a lot of diversity and a lot of players throughout the entire league and again this guy has connections this guy has brand recognition this guy gets stuff done in the hockey world and other people surrounding those situations are more scared to face a guy like uh like uh like a Pat Brisson rather than a Peter Fish in terms of negotiations and again uh, when when the stuff matters when when Buffalo's not holding on or pretty much holding on their position to not have Eichel getting a surgery Pat Brisson again can bring some of that influence into that situation that is badly needed I think especially for Jack Eichel who again can't really do anything when we're talking about Jack Eichel here he can't get the surgery he wants because he's on Buffalo and Buffalo's not trading him so Jack Eichel is basically just a sitting duck right now not really doing anything and not getting anything of what he wants and obviously Buffalo is trying to find a trade but that's not been successful uh, successful whatsoever even though they've held on their trade value position it's not worked out so far nobody has come to bat for them so having Pat Brisson as a new agent there is going to change a lot in my opinion and even though we might not see a trade in the next week or so I think we will eventually see a trade because of this and I think we'll see a lot of trade rumors and a lot of news coming out in the next few weeks I think Jack Eichel will eventually get the surgery and he'll eventually get another team because that's what Pat Brisson does for his clients he gets them what they want and I think eventually Jack Eichel will be able to do that. It's now Pat Brisson and again having that influence is so important I think Buffalo will eventually be able to trade him and Jack Eichel will get the surgery he wants and it could honestly happen during the season and again could be something within the season uh, trade wise at least that we do end up seeing in 2022. Now, really, the last thing we heard about with Jack Eichel trade rumors were, were the teams involved. Again, most of them just staying hesitant, not wanting to trade for Jack Eichel unless they could pretty much guarantee that the surgery could be done and that Jack Eichel would be healthy for at least most of next season. But the farther this negotiation goes, the less likely it is that Jack Eichel will be ready for a lot of next season, or at least a big chunk of it, which is why there's so much really on the line in these next couple of weeks, in my opinion. But in terms of some of the teams that, that Pat Brisson has the most clients for that were actually linked to Jack Eichel recently, we obviously have the Ducks who recently as well were confirmed to be on a Jack Eichel besides the fact that again that whole health situation is really the only thing keeping them back they might want to give up that package if it wasn't for the health in question also the New York Rangers still in the mix there you have the Montreal Canadiens who could also be in the mix again Pat Brisson best friend of Mark Bergevin maybe something is able to happen there and Brisson's able to convince Eichel to go to Montreal he already has three clients in the Montreal Canadiens so maybe that's a factor and you have other teams as well that could be in the mix as well like the Columbus Blue Jackets but when it comes to Pat Brisson, again, he's going to bring that influence and he's going to bring opportunity for Jack Eichel to actually get what he wants. And again, when an agent change happens, it doesn't always prove to mean change, but in Pat Brisson's case, it usually does. And again, looking at Jack Eichel's situation, this is honestly the best thing he could possibly do right now. But in terms of the teams interested, again, there's going to be a lot of influence there. And honestly, there could be a lot that changes between uh, a couple weeks ago and now with Pat Brisson representing Jack Eichel. Again, he has a lot of connections, a lot of different places that he knows well, and a lot of GMs he knows well as well. So there's going to be a lot of, uh, a, lo a lot more that's going to come up these next couple of weeks, and a lot more to look forward to in the Jack Eichel trade rumors. I know I've been uh, I know I've been talking over myself a ton in today's video, but again, I think this means a lot more than other people think in terms of the actual Jack Eichel trade happening. I'm a lot more convinced it could happen before even training camp. Now that Paperson is his agent, I think this means a lot. And again, I think a Jack Eichel trade at this point now, it's just a matter of time before it happens. But that'll be it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you did enjoy this breakdown make sure you comment down below what do you think about this situation where do you see Jack Eichel getting traded to let me know all your thoughts make sure you share this video with your friends get the explanation of this weird situation out there and click on this card for all my trade rumor content right in one playlist my name is Nathan thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video or stream goodbye